27 Americans have been killed and the number of unaccounted for stands at 14 as the fighting intensifies between Israeli forces and Hamas. The White House has not yet determined exactly how many Americans are being held hostage by Hamas. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Shelby Cap. Andy and Natasia have the night off. Federal and state law enforcement are stepping up security protocols at Jewish houses of worship in the U.S. amid the ongoing conflict in Israel. According to NBC News, former Hamas leader called for Friday to be a global day of anger in support of the recent Hamas attack on Israel. This increase in security has reached the borderland and KTSM 9 News reporter Tani Davis joins us live in the studio tonight. And Tani, you spoke with the El Paso FBI and police. What did they have to say? Shelby, the ongoing conflict caused Governor Greg Abbott to allocate over $4 million in state funding from the Public Safety Office. That money will be used to provide enhanced security for Jewish organizations such as synagogues and schools in Texas. In El Paso, the FBI field office is aware of the online threats and are taking the necessary precautions while the El Paso Police Department is also increasing their security measures. The Texas Department of Public Safety was also directed by Governor Greg Abbott to work with local partners and FBI agencies on heightened public safety measures. The Joint Terrorism Task Force and Texas Fusion Center will have an intensified focus to elevate awareness about potential threats by Hamas against the Jewish community in Texas. Regarding the safety measures the El Paso FBI field office will take, officials released a statement that says the FBI is aware of open source open open source rec reports about calls for global action on Friday, October 13th, that may lead to demonstrations in communities throughout the United States. FBI El Paso is working closely with our law enforcement partners in West Texas to share information and identify and disrupt any threats that may emerge. As always, we take seriously any tips or leads we receive regarding potential threats and investigate them rigorously to determine their credibility. The FBI encourages members of the public to remain vigilant and report anything they consider suspicious to law enforcement. The El Paso Police Department is also taking extra safety precautions. According to an email that was obtained by KTSM that was sent to EPPD officers, they are asking for volunteers for increased security and patrol at various locations, including Jewish and Muslim centers. If there are not enough volunteers, there will then be mandatory overtime. The FBI Elton of El Paso Division has been in touch with local communities around West Texas to reassure them that they are tracking closely the events in the Middle East. Right now, they do not believe any credible and specific intelligence indicating a threat to our West Texas communities. They do want the, to remind the public to report any suspicious or threatening activity. Reporting live in studio, Tawny Davis, KTSM 9 News.